meat. Seen and sold on our grocery store shelves to fast food restaurants, cooked in our homes, and even sold in the finest dining establishments that you've been to, there's meat everywhere. More likely than not, that meat you're eating came from something called a factory farm. Factory farm is a facility that raises animals in huge quantities for food purposes and whose main focus is both profit and efficiency. Because of these main goals of the factory farms, the overall well-being of the animals is neglected by being packed into small spaces where they have little movement and no access to outside space. Chickens' beaks are cut off, cows' tails are removed, and these animals are suffering terribly in the process. Hormones are injected into all animals to speed up their growth rate. What we don't know is that 99% of all farm animals in the U.S. are being raised in a factory farm. Factory farm animals are truly seen as units of production rather than living creatures, and the people at the top of the production chain put efficiency and profits ahead of anything else that occurs on the farm. Confining as many animals indoors as possible might maximize efficiency and profits but it also exposes the animals to high levels of toxins. The decomposing manure they are exposed to creates ideal conditions for diseases to spread. Well, you may ask yourself, aren't there any laws to prevent this from occurring? The U.S. has no federal laws protecting farm animals while they are actually on the farms where they are raised. Two federal laws aim to protect farm animals and exempt poultry animals. Overall, these animal law protections are not applicable for 95% of land animals killed for food. All of this is being done at the expense of our health and the animals. After all, we are eating the meat from these animals that are being injected with growth hormones and being fed inorganic foods while being sheltered in what can be considered completely to toxic spaces. What can we do to stop this? Factory farmers depend on us, the consumers, to buy the meat. We, the consumers, must take a stand. If we don't buy the meat, there won't be a demand and the stores won't have it on their shelves. We must collectively tell the producers we won't buy the factory farm meat where these animals are treated and their well-being is completely disregarded. But the word must be spread about what's going on before everyone decides to buy less animal products, informing the producers we don't agree with what they're doing. Choose kindness over cruelty.